So we think, well, what is the impact of music? So Thomas, I believe that music is incredibly impactful. In fact, Confucius once said, if you want to know the morality of a nation, let me hear the music. That was it. And that was thousands of years ago. So if he was right, or even partly right, then it's time that our young people got, you know, a dose of what music was meant to be and got a dose of what music is doing to them. So I'm when I go and play in schools, I'm very hard on that message. And it's very clear what it's about because I take a world class violinist, cellist and a singer and it's and I'm very, very direct. So I've thrown my life at playing into prisons and rehab centers and inner city schools and places that don't get, you know, that level of musicianship. But this is why a lot of the time, Thomas, I go in and I speak directly about, you know, sort of what music is doing, because a lot of great kids going to great schools are indulging in things that you would think, well, no, not my kid and certainly not this school. And, you know, when you dig deep enough, you think, yeah, it's, it's there. Um, and, you know, I'll go and play in an inner city, for example, Chicago recently. I played at a school where these children are paying $60,000 a year to go to the school. And then I, the next day I played at, a, at a, an inner city school, at very dangerous. And really, um, they were listening to the same music. They're playing the same video games. They're, you know, sort of watching and binging the same series and all the Netflix and all that. So their formation to the core is very much the same. And you would almost argue, therefore, what's the difference? Well, opportunity academically and sophistication. But the core of formation, sadly, is indistinguishable. Plato said, if you want to govern a nation, you don't need the laws. All you need is the music. That's not an overstatement. That's not an exaggeration. He is not trying to do shock to get your attention. He means it. And, you know, when I look at, at statements like that, you know, Socrates, music is a moral law. It gives soul to the universe and wings to the mind and flight to the imagination and a charm and a gaiety to life and to everything. Is that overstated? Or is music just background to dinner? Is it background to my video games, you know? And I think, no, it is, it is so much more. Now, but when I go into the high schools, I have a little exercise and I talk to them about the impact. And some of the greatest things is I get a lot of letters and emails from kids who are, you know, 16, 17, and they'll say, thank you for coming. I'm now going to throw out my playlist. I'm very well aware of how it's influencing me because I show them in, in, in concert. And that's my goal is to go there and lovingly hit them between that, you know, between the eyes and say, what you are putting into your heart, mind and soul through this music, you are affecting how you look at God, how you look at yourself and how you look at each other, how you look at God's gifts on this earth, how you look at women all through this. Is that what you want for formation? And so that's really the goal, Thomas. And so, but first my thought is there is nothing your children and my children and my grandchildren and your grandchildren can't listen to. They have full access to it. The question is, do they have the formation and they have the belief that these things have an effect on them and therefore they have learned to put sort of their critical mind and critical you know questions to the test when it comes to what goes into their heart minds and souls most don't most go with what's cool and yeah it's no big deal it's just music and yeah that's fun and and we have all this terminology which has no meaning all we're all we're doing is turning off you know our ability to critically think as to what's good and you know the question isn't isn't cool the question is is this good for my soul does this have an effect on how I see God? And does this have an effect on how I see myself and the dignity of myself? Those are very, very important questions that we don't associate with music. And we really need to start, especially now that we have the World Library of Music available to all of us. Wow. Uh, that's Eric Jenis talking with me today. You can see his website is his name, Eric, E-R-I-C, and then Jenis is G-E-N-U-I-S dot com ericgenis.com i'll mention this again as the interview continues and there you can learn about his music where he's going to be in concert how to book him and then concerts for hope so many things that there is to discuss 